We're going to take a little drive in a Prius out into the country. And the route I'm going to pick is uh, kind of a mixture of a little bit of city, a little bit of country, a little bit of highway. But the uh, most important thing <clears throat> tonight, this evening, is to just to demonstrate the concept of driving the car. And that is there are three energy sources in a Prius. The gasoline in the tank for the gas engine, the electricity in the battery for the primary electric motor, and the other one is the momentum in the road. And if you harness the momentum in the road along with the whole hybrid concept of the car, then this car can go an awful long ways on very, 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 very little gas. Now the secret in the hybrid, especially this car, is to maintain the momentum. Momentum is everything. Uh, momentum, 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 momentum. And I devised a very simple little concept on how to regain and capture the momentum, how to acquire it. And it's a little jingle. It's called PGC and TRT. Pulse, Glide, Coast, and Touch, Release, Touch. And by pulsing, which is uh, what I just did coming from that start, is we are bringing the car up to highway speed on the gas engine, just releasing the gas pedal slightly, and the car will jump back to electric. Now, we've just started from a cold start, so the battery is not quite up to charge yet but it will be shortly. And just since we've left my driveway by my office, we're already up to 30 miles to a gallon because I did reset the meter from zero. Now we're going down a slight downgrade here on the city street and we're gliding on electric. You want to pulse on gas, we're going uphill or to gain or regain momentum from a, from a, a cold uh, standing start and then maintain that momentum on a glide on electric, which is what I'm doing now. And in the last couple of seconds, we have picked up 10 miles per gallon, now up to 40.4. And you see this slight downgrade. We're gonna pick up a little bit of speed here and we're gonna gain a little bit of momentum. And we will run on electric as much as we can to maintain the glide. Pulse on gas, glide on electric, coast on electric, and your stopping is just as important as your motion because the secondary electric motor in the car acts as a generator to generate power back to the battery as you brake. That is called regenerative braking. And your regenerative braking is just as important as your acceleration or your start-offs. Now, on the consumption screen, we've uh, recorded uh, our power generation for the first five minutes we've been out. We're already up to 66.2 miles per gallon. Uh, the graph graphs the, the, um, il, uh, the uh, fuel consumption on a five-minute basis. Uh, this is our first five minutes of operation, and the battery is now up to charge. So we're going to be running electric a lot more frequently now that we're up to charge. You notice we're sitting here at a light, silent. We are not burning any fuel. How stupid to burn gas at a stoplight. Okay, and we're going to roll off nice and easy here. And we're going to pulse up the speed. Now I'm in a little bit of traffic tonight. Uh, so it's a little bit of stop and go, which is actually good because we get more regenerative braking that way. But when you don't have anybody ahead of you or behind you, that's when you can really maximize the momentum in the road. But uh, you get more attentive to uh, obstructions in front of you that break your momentum. So I like this gentleman in front of me here who's slowing down a little bit. But uh, now that we've got a nice even pace here, and we're gonna maintain the glide here on electric as long as I can, difference between, is there a difference between a glide and a coast? Yeah, a glide is coming down after a pulse and you're trying to maintain the glide on electric and pick up as much momentum as you can while on electric. 
or coast, you're going to take your foot off the pedal and you're basically going to coast either downhill, just like you would coast a car in neutral, or you're going to coast up to, a, to, a, to a, uh, an anticipated stop. An anticipated stop would be a stoplight, it'd be a stop sign, something that you can see in the distance. Instead of driving up to the stop and braking, coast up to the stop and regeneratively brake very gently. Again, your, your stopping is just as important as your motion. Now, we've gone just uh, three miles here. We're up to 73.4 miles per gallon. And this is actually the kind of speed that the car does rather well in city driving here. Up around 40 miles an hour, between 35 and 45, it, it, it really likes that speed range because it really does not take a lot of energy to keep a car rolling once you get it rolling. And the Prius is designed to uh, cheat the wind, and if you run your tires at the right pressure, it's also designed to cheat the friction. Now we're going uphill a little bit here, so we're going to go back to a pulse here. Again, the key to the car is to drive it consistently. Now we've got a stoplight coming up in the distance here. We're just going to coast up and gently, gently, gently break. Again, use the momentum right to the last moment. Now, if you listen carefully, you'll hear a little hum as we come to a stop. That is the secondary electric motor regenerating power back to the primary's battery. That's regenerative braking. Now, I have a car behind me, and I got to keep up with the flow of traffic here, but if I didn't, I could roll off on electric, and not half the pulse. So it, it varies according to the driving conditions, also the service of the road, the, the, the temperature. Uh, this is a very temperature sensitive car. It likes it above 45 degrees Fahrenheit. It has a little different personality in the winter, but it still does very nicely. That bar graph, which is also on a 2010 model, but it's in a different location, tells you a great deal of how well you drive the car. All right, now the one that's going up and down is the gas mileage in real time. When that goes up, we're switching to a pure electric. Every little green symbol is 50 watt hours of electricity. That's the amount of electricity that you burn in a, in a 50 watt bulb for one hour. All right, now we're gonna pulse up the speed here. And then we're going to use a lot of momentum in this road. Now watch, this is what the type of road that this car thrives on. Now we are on electric at almost 60 miles an hour here. See, a lot of the other hybrids, I believe the Hondas, use the electric as a boost to their gas engine. The Prius can actually propel the car at any highway speed on electric. We're tootling right along here on electric. Okay, I'm just going to goose it a little bit over the hill and release coming over just over the crest. Again, you want to maximize the momentum. The most important concept that I try to convey to people who were interested in really driving this car most efficiently is something called an ingram. And that is when you can do something without consciously thinking about it. For example, shifting a standard shift automobile without having to look where the gear shift goes in the, in the gear slots. So if you learn the ingram on driving this without having to consciously think about it, it becomes effortless.